And we want to take you back before we get to this game. A little flashback from last year. You might remember week four. This was our game of the week up at Wigwam Stadium. Sim Seminole uh, gave some trouble to the Rangers early on, but a safety here. Rangers able to shut it down. And defense dominant as always. Greenwood did leave Gaines County with a win, but we'll see would they be as fortunate tonight? Greenwood and Seminole and uh, the winner Moving on to play Aubrey, but first you got to get out of this game. Greenwood Rangers ready to be the host. Seminole Indians coming in here for this first round matchup. First possession, Seminole ball and River Powers is going to go deep to Kaysen Andrews. And he's got his man down inside the red zone later on to Preston Stevenson. Touchdown and Indians. Jump out to a quick 6-0 lead, but Greenwood, just give him time. Ty Flowers, he's going to show off his arm to Isaiah Ramirez, and he just sneaks it in for the touchdown right there. 7-6 Greenwood. Greenwood then gets the ball back after an interception, and uh, if you don't know this guy by now, it probably should. Trey Cross, All-State running back, cruising in for the score, 14-6. Next seminal possession, Powers summoning his powers. To go deep, but Troy Cross, Brody, there for his second interception of the game. And look at this, a little, a little gritty action. Okay, Alan Davis, shout out. Uh, that would set up a Greenwood touchdown. Trey Cross, and you know how the Cross family celebrates. Hit the gritty. There we go. Rangers, they're busting moves, celebrating like the Bayou Bengals after they won the national championship. It was 31-6 at the half and a convincing 50-20 win over the Indians.